We'll knock one more of these out so you can kind of see how this works. But basically your setup on any of these is just going to be, what information do I know? Well, it takes Amanda 10 hours to clean an attic, okay? So over any hour, she can complete one-tenth of the job. Kristen can clean the same attic in nine hours. So within an hour, she would complete one-ninth of the job. How long would it take if they worked together? So all of them on this first page are going to set up this way. And the easiest way to go is going to be to just multiply through by your least common multiple. Even if you just multiplied everything in the denominator together, it would work. It just would be larger numbers at the end. And then I distribute that LCM through by multiplying, and I'm going to get rid of all the fractions. So 90 divided by 10 would be 9t. 90 divided by 9 would be 10t. And then again, on my last one, just the t's cancel. And I'm going to get funky numbers with this. I'm not going to get nice, clean answers like it would take three hours. That's not going to happen very often. But one thing I am going to watch out for is if something makes sense. In other words, if it takes individuals 10 hours and 9 hours to do a job respectively, the answer I get for them being together better be less. Because if it's not, something went wrong somewhere. So that's basically all we're going to be doing down here. So for all these first four, that's going to be your setup. The only thing you're going to have to be cautious of is sometimes I may give you how well they do it together. So just to say, just to kind of help keep you aware of this, if I can get, there we go. For instance, if we were looking at number three, Mike, individual, can pour a concrete driveway in seven hours. Okay, so Mike, one seventh. One day, his friend Wilbur helped him, and it only took 1.92. Find out how long it will take Wilbur to do it alone. Okay. So Mike plus Wilbur, who we don't know, equals them together. So notice the change here. Now it's not 1 7th plus 1 over 2.92. They're on opposite sides of the equals. So I'm going to need to multiply these two together and distribute that through. So as I start to distribute it through, I go, okay, let's see. Uh, 7 is going to be 2.92t, or t1. My middle term, just the T1s cancel. And then here, it would end up being 7T. But again, T values not on the same side. Got to subtract that over. and then divide. So it's just to have that little, that little detail, that little switch that changes things. And again, this would make sense. Well, why would it make sense? Well, if he did it by himself in less than 2.92, it wouldn't work. So as long as it was greater than that, it's going to be sensible, something that I can work with. So no worries on that. And a lot of these are. They're just going to look like the ones we were doing yesterday. So I'm trying to find some on here that are going to look a little bit different. I don't think there's going to be a lot of them, so let's see. Let's say, well, let's jump down to number seven here. So I want to get you some general direction, but I don't want to overkill this. 
because this is another one that was similar to what we did yesterday. We talked about distance equals rate times time. So if I made myself a quick little chart here so I can see how things are working. We've got Maria and we've got Natalie. Okay. Maria left the Science Museum and traveled toward the town hall at an average speed of 40 kilometers per hour. Okay. So Maria is going 40. Natalie left some time later, traveling in the same direction at an average speed of 50 kilometers per hour. Okay, so we got our rates. After traveling for four hours, Natalie caught up with Maria. So Natalie traveled for four hours. How long did it take Maria, we don't know, before Natalie caught up? So there's a couple of things working here. We know that distance equals rate times time. Okay, so multiply them together. 40t, multiply them together, 200. So I'm like, oh, so 40t must equal 200 since they went the same distance t equals 5 hours. Does that make sense? Sure. When I was going 50 miles per hour, it only took me 4 hours. I'm going a slower rate. It's going to take me more time. Those are the types of things that as you start to think about will even help you when you do get to standardized testing because you'll be able to look at answers and go, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Nope. Nope. Sometimes you can get to the answer without even having to do anything. It's great when that happens. All right, so the rest of these, same. Switcheroo. Let's see here. Let's go to, I seem to keep doing the third one on every page. So I'm, I'm thinking that's a good idea here again. So 11. So we got brand X coffee and brand Y coffee. And we know how much it costs per pound. We know how many pounds. So that would give me a total. And you can use your own labels for these. I just look at things and go, okay, what pieces do I have so I can figure out where to put everything? So like, okay, let's see what we got. How many pounds of Brand X coffee, which costs $8 a pound, must be added to six pounds of brand Y coffee, which costs $5 per pound, to make Jill's special coffee blend, which costs $6 per pound. Okay, multiply across, multiply across. My pounds, my mystery pounds, plus six, <coughs> multiply across. And all I'm basically doing here is distributing my 6. This has to equal this. Okie doke. That's the nice thing about the chart. It even sets up all the equations for you. Subtract that back over. Subtract that back over. and work it out. So again, nothing too terribly awful. And actually, that's the exact same thing you'll be doing on the back page. I'm just changing now from coffee into metal into solutions and alcohol solutions, whatever it happens to be. So like we typically do with any of these, I will have the key ready and raring to go up here if you need to check things, but take advantage of the time today. If you need to finish something for the homework check and check something, go for it. If you need to work on this and get it done, go for it. If you're done with all that and want to start on the review because it's lengthy and you don't want to have to worry about it over the weekend, great. Get started on that. Otherwise, we're good. <laughs>